Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, the Dark Master Empire invaded Earth in a search for Monster Reborn, leading to a duel between Sayaba and Yudius. But when the dust settled, our heroes took the win, but in the process revealed that Danamu indeed is hiding Monster Reborn. So, the search continues. Hello everyone and welcome to Dueling with Down Sensei. We're jumping straight back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush with episode 119, Yuhi versus Yuamu. And all in all, honestly, I love this episode for multiple reasons. So let's get into it. So Yuhi versus Yuamu. While Yuamu was in her Dark Meister persona, this was a duel that needed to happen, and I'm really glad that it did. Giving Yuumu another win helps to establish her antagonistic credit. Even though the person she wishes to become, we ultimately know him for losing so many times. So Yuhi versus Yuumu, while she was in her Dark Meister persona, this was a duel that needed to happen, and I'm really glad that it did, and giving Yuumu another win helps to establish her antagonistic credit. Even though the person she wishes to become, is a known loser in terms of dueling records. Otis just doesn't win duels. But besides that, however, this victory does further help to show off her resolve, even with all of her actions and expressions. Yuumu during season one and two was very kind, caring, and thoughtful. But now she's out here hurting Danamu and threatening his life. She's belittling her brother with the whole statement where she's telling him that he's never been smart and he's always run away from things that are difficult, thus leaving her to do all the heavy lifting for him. It's like she's actively trying to burn those bridges, so it makes the thought of losing her old self even easier. I love the symbolism of her destroying Bluetooth Burst Dragon, aka her old ace monster, and using that same monster that she destroyed her former ace with to win this duel. It adds to her credit as well as making it so she can win without relying on contact fusion, thus making her look more credible as a stronger duelist. The duel itself was very good in showcasing that yes contact fusion is powerful but it's not unbeatable as Yuki manages to easily overcome this with cancel fusion. But again there is this element that is shown without uh, throughout this duel to where strategy is a very key important factor of dueling still, and despite having this counter, Yumu still managed to win on that particular turn. So I do like how we're progressing characters in terms of their dueling intellect. As a side note, the OST was incredible throughout this duel, and it really did help to add to the situation, creating a bigger and more hyped atmosphere. The thing that I loved the most about this episode, though, were the many emotions and expression Yuumu displayed. The look of confidence, that smug look, annoyance, sadness, longing, and even her, and even her tantrum at the end. All of these were incredible, and you could tell the animators were having so much fun making this episode. These expressions also help to do other things for Yuumu's character. Her having those evil smiles and faces were her attempts at trying to be evil and thus furthering distancing herself from others. Her look of sadness slash longing shows that there's still hope that a little bit of doubt is in her mind as she is conflicted and wanting a different resolution as such. And her having a tantrum just shows that we still got that bit of humanity and childishness from her character, despite such a heavy burden that she's carrying. As for Yuhi, his quest to stop Yuumu did fail this time around, and he almost lost three things. Firstly, the duel, which isn't that bad in the grand scheme of things. I think Yuumu winning was the correct move, especially as Yuhi winning would have ended the arc. The second thing he would have lost was his sister, as she's walking further down her road. Especially if Monster Reborn was with Danamu's deck that she managed to obtain at the end of this episode, which gladly it wasn't. And thirdly, he almost lost Danamu, who is a part of Yuhi being that it's part of Yuhi's Earthdemar, which he created. Danamu 
But not everything failed for Yuki in this episode, as he's confident that he knows where Monster Reborn is, thanks to that connection he has with Danamu. And I love this little detail, as it mirrors what Yumu said when talking about knowing everything Yuki does, because they're twins, and they've been together for a long time. So the fact that Danamu and Yuki have this connection because of that Earth to Mar link, it kind of harks back to that. Overall, this episode was a lot of positives, from the animation, the music, the emotion slash expressions on display, plus it wasn't over the top with the comedy, it had a good balance to it, with the hunt for Dynamo still ongoing, what will happen next? Let's find out. So hopefully you've enjoyed this review, if you have, stay tuned, because I'm going to be bringing a lot more coming up. Let's go.